guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, we're here to do a Super Tarts video. I have not filmed a Super Tarts haul in years. I have an order from Super Tarts, I think since I was living at my dad's house. It's been an extremely long time since I filmed a YouTube video, like, there, or like, in Super Tarts world, and I, like, forgot about Super Tarts for a very long time. I placed a very small order, um, a while ago, and I got that, and I didn't even melt it. I still have it, but anyway, everybody's raving about Super Tarts, and I went in on Wax Wednesday, because there's some scents that I absolutely love from Super Tarts, and... I'm super excited. Super Tarts has been around for such a long time. Whenever I start to talk about a brand new vendor on here, I do like to share a little bit about Super Tarts. You probably know Super Tarts from her clams or her BAM bags. These are BAM bags, these are clams. Those are what she typically offers in her pre-orders. Now, the way that Super Tarts works is she opens typically every week join her Facebook group, she will post. And every week she opens a pre-order. Now the pre-orders do have about a six to eight week turnaround time. It is quite a bit of time, but the owner of Super Tarts Brandy did suffer a very traumatic brain injury a while ago. So she can't be pouring. So her husband Brady actually runs a lot of the business. And so she has to take into consideration, you know, that this isn't what he does for a living. I mean, it is now, but so, Again, it's just, you know, have some grace with her for sure, but she's been getting all the orders out whenever they're supposed to, and basically every week alternates between categories. So, like, she's open right now for berry and fruity. They typically open on Friday and close either Sunday or Monday to order, and then they begin pouring. The next week, they ship the pre-order previously, about six to eight weeks. Again, she has a calendar. She has to update it, I think, but it has, like what opens, what ships, what opens, what ships. So you will get your order. It just won't be for a while, but it is very transparent, open, and honest when she talks about shipping, and she gives lots of updates. Then she has Wax Wednesday. This is a haul from Wax Wednesday and from a citrus pre-order. Both of the orders were rather small, so I just decided to combine them. Now, with her Wax Wednesday, she opens one day a year. It's typically, I believe, it's like the it's like the weekend before Black Friday, don't quote, or the Wednesday before Black Friday, most of her scent list is available and it's all 20% off. Now, it takes a very long time. I just received this two weeks ago, maybe, and I ordered on Black Friday. But I ordered scents that I absolutely love and I know I've smelled before, a few new ones that I definitely wanted to try. But I have a basket full of wax that I'm super excited to share with you. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Another thing that I really want to share about Super Tarts is her wax is strong. Powerhouse, you never have an issue, well most of the time, with throw. One cube in a tea light warmer fills up my apartment. It is crazy the amount of strength that Super Tarts has. So, buying a clam is totally worth it. They are so, so strong. Like, but... And this one, Lori Brown, she's famous for telling me this, her wax totally transforms on warm. She's one of the main vendors that whenever you pop her wax into a warmer, the scent comes alive. So whatever you're smelling on cold, when you pop it in a warmer, typically it's going to be around the same, but it transforms. The notes get deeper. The scents get brighter. It just expands. One of these scents, which I actually have here, Lori Brown was talking about, it like throws her out of the house. Anyway... Let's start with my Wax Wednesday haul. So, Wax Wednesday, again, I told you, she offers most of her very popular scents for one day only. I ordered, it's a very basic scent. Not one, not two, but three bags of my Jaws. Now, I'll be like every other YouTuber, yes, I understand it is frustrating that there are no scent notes on the wax. If I have it in a BAM bag, I know I love the fragrance, so I typically know what it is, but I understand the frustration. I agree. No scent notes, no pour dates on the BAMs, and then the clamshells do have scent notes on them. I'll show you, but um, 
yeah, they do have set notes, but the BAMs don't. I don't understand the reason why, because there's a label. I don't know. But anyway, Jaws. Now, Jaws is pear, plum, salty sea air. It is so good. And there's like ozone too in it and something else. I promise Lexi, who doesn't like salty sea air, this is like heaven. It, every time I smell it, I love it more. And when I warm it, because I bought her Jaws sampler, which are little, little scent shots, three days in my bathroom. No exaggeration. On a hot plate, three days, 24-7. Her wax lasts forever. It is like sweet, it's fruity, it's fresh. You definitely pick up on the plum and the pear. The plum is warm and juicy. The pear is bright and crisp. Then you have that freshness of the air, the aquatic of the water. I'm so happy. I have three Bam bags of Jaws, and now that I filmed this video, I can pop these in my warmers and experience Jaws all over again. Next, we have Lorelei. One of my favorite coffee fragrances. One of my favorite characters on Gilmore Girls. Lorelai Gilmore. Love her. Now this is coffee, midnight ice cream, which is a chocolate ice cream, and I think vanilla? No. Is it zucchini? It's not zucchini bread. Coffee, midnight ice cream. I know. I'm like, oh, I know the notes. No, I don't. It is sweet, delicious coffee. I love this, and I've, I've melted it before years ago. And smelling these are so nostalgic for me because I used to buy these all the time years ago and having them back again. When she offers a coffee pre-order again, I'm ordering, and Lorelai's available, I'm ordering BAMs. Ugh, obsessed, love. If you like rich, deep coffee scents, but don't love chocolate scents, do not let the chocolate ice cream throw you off on here. It is so good. It almost like how... When you add coffee to brownie batter, it just enhances the flavor. But it's not chocolatey, I promise you. It is heaven. Heaven, so strong. Love it. Next, I have two bags of mouse ears. Love this scent. Mouse ears is ice cold lemonade and lollipops. It's this fun red color with like some blue swirls. Oh, this is like so strong. This is like a lemonade slushy that you get at the fair with so fresh bright lemons tons of sugar and cold ice this literally smells cold I don't know how vendors capture ice cold in wax but this legit smells cold to me Ugh. I'm not complaining I love mouse ears I love this scent so excited to have more And then we have Fake and Bake. Now, I had this years ago, didn't really remember it, but all I remember people saying is, no matter what, yes, it smells great in the bag. When you warm it, it legit smells like somebody is baking in your house. The best delicious baked goods. Sign me up. Fake and Bake. This is like zucchini bread, sugar cookies, and like... <laughs> fresh baked rolls. Oh my god. It is heaven. Okay, I love everything in these orders, by the way. So, so good. It is rich, sugary, baked, a little bit of zucchini bread, but nothing crazy. Oh, yeasty, delicious, homey, comforting goodness, and I cannot wait to melt this and experience it again in this apartment. So strong. And then I believe, yes, this is the last one. Yeah. The last one from Wax Wednesday, and this is Jelly Jam and Dinner Rolls. And I believe this is like orange marmalade on um, on like, uh, like a homemade bun. So strong on the orange marmalade. So strong. Like, you get it right away. Bright, citrusy orange, and then a yeasty bun. Ugh. I, I, all I say is, ugh, this is so good. Ugh, this is so good. Oh my god. And um, Lori Brown talked about this in her video, about how much she loved it and how all the orange marmalade shines through. And Lori, I could not agree with you more. It is amazing. Oh, amazing, 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 amazing. I'm so impressed with Supercarts. I can't. 
And I do have three more BAM bags. These are actually from her citrus pre-order that I got in the mail. And this one, speaking of Miss Lori Brown, this is her all-time favorite scent. I think she basically bought out Super Tart's inventory. She probably had to do a whole entire palette of wax just for Lori Brown's fizzy lifting drink. And this is Fizzy Pop and Lemon Custard. And I, I, I'm super transparent, right? I even texted Miss Lori Brown and said, it's okay to me. It's just okay. To me, it just smells like Fizzy Pop. Like Lemon Lime Fizzy Pop. Which, I mean, that is what it is. But she said it knocks her out of the house. So, and it's amazing when it melts. She, like, was transformed. So... I'm giving it a shot for Lori Brown. I do enjoy it. I just thought it would be something like spectacular. I'm not getting that on cold. Doesn't mean I won't get it on warm. Then we have Duck Feet. Now this one, from what I remember, is mouse ears. So ice cold lemonade and lollipops. And orange creamsicle. Right? Yes. This is lemon, ice cold lemonade and lollipops. An orange creamsicle. This just adds the slightest hint of creamy orange mixed with that ice cold lemonade. <sighs> so bright, so bright. All of these scents are so strong, it's insane. And then the last BAM bag I picked up is Peelin' Good, and this is Strawberry and Satsuma. You can never go wrong with Strawberry and Satsuma, right? And you can't go wrong with this. It's like 50% strawberry, like macerated, rich, gooey strawberries. And just a slight hint of Satsuma. Actually, it's probably like 60% strawberry, 40% Satsuma. Satsuma does not overpower this blend at all. Which, if you're unfamiliar with Satsuma, it's like a very warm citrus orange. But it really overpowers blends when it's put in it. But Brandy, or Brady, whoever made this perfected this. So good. So good. Oh, I just love these scents so much. Like, there's not one in that Wax Wednesday order or the citrus that I did not like. I have a sleeve of clams to talk about. And these are all from the citrus pre-order. So, let's move on to the clams. The first clam I have is City Mall. Now, she used to have very fun labels back in the day that were, like, colorful, and they were copyrighted images, do I say? Um, and she did, like, really cool designs on the wax. Since I have not ordered from a while, I do believe there's been some changes. So now a lot of scents are being renamed. She does, I think, have a file on Facebook, don't quote me, on the new names, but anyway. So now, whatever category it is, is like what's featured on the label. So this one is City Mall, and this is Orange Smoothie. I was hoping this would be similar to my beloved VCS, Sandy's Famous Orange Julius. It is not. It is a very creamy orange, though, and can be resembled by an orange smoothie, but VCS has that one in the bag of being super creamy orange smoothie. It's good, though, just not what I was expecting. This one is Euron, and this one is Lemon Curd, Beach Florals, Ocean Air, and Melon. And I ordered this because of the melon. I love melon and wax. And it is. It's a very, very bright floral. If you remember Yankee Candle Beach Flowers, I used to love that fragrance back in the day. They haven't made that in years, but this... Yeah, this smells very similar, very floral, very fresh, but then that hint of bright melon. Did I really just knock my entire basket on the ground? I'll be back. We're back. Next, I have Diva Duck. Now, this is ice cold lemonade and lollipops mixed with grape soda. I only picked this up in a clam because not the biggest fan of grape and wax. It typically comes off as medicinal, but this is good. The grape soda, very authentic, very fizzy grape soda. And the lemonade and the lollipops, again, like I said, it's a very sweet, tart lemon slushy. But the grape soda in there just really adds a pop of a little bit of a sweetness without being overly sweet or medicinal and I hope that when it melts it stays the same way. Next we have 
charming. I thought this was just very interesting. This is grapefruit and sugar cookies. Never really experienced like a sugar cookie with a grapefruit in it before. And honestly, it's a very, very light sugar cookie. Maybe a hint of citrus, but I mean a hint. I'm hoping this one is freshly poured and just needs some time to cure. Or again, like they say with Super Dark's Clams, it just needs to be melted. Because right now it just smells like a very light sugar cookie with like a hint of citrus. So, not sure about that one yet. We have Redemption Blackberry and Peony. I know now that this was offered just recently, I won't be able to order for a while. It's okay, um, but... This is heaven. I love peonies. And I love blackberry. And the Homeworks Enchanted Peony Candle is peony, blackberry, and strawberry. And, oh my gosh. This is so good. And because his candles stink now, this smells just like it. Very, very, very fresh peony with that rich blackberry. One thing I do notice, I don't understand necessarily how she comes up with the colors because blackberry and peony and it's orange. Interesting. That's one thing I noticed with her wax. The colors definitely do not match. Ooh, next, lav mm, Amityville, which is lavender, mac, apple, and strawberry. And I think this was like the fresh collection because there's like lavender and stuff. She does like citrus fresh, bakery coffee, fruity berry. You get it all. You get lavender, and the lavender is a very herbal lavender. The mac apple, crisp, fresh apple, and then juicy strawberry. Very, very different vibes. Mac apple can lean towards fall. Strawberry, fresh and fruity for summer. Lavender, calming and relaxing. But it's a winner in my book. I really like it. Then we have Blown Up. And this is part of the Jaws collection. This is sea salt, ozone, seagrass, that's what I forgot, seagrass, plum, pear, and lemon custard. So Jaws mixed with lemon custard. Now see, the, fizz, the uh, fizzy lifting drink is fizzy pop and lemon custard. Didn't smell any lemon custard. This I 100% do. I smell the Jaws, and then I have like a hint of that lemon custard. Ugh. You guys just need to try Jaws. And honestly, if Jaws is not available and it's a Jaws blend, and you'll know it's a Jaws blend because it's sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, and pear, please pick up a Jaws blend. I'm begging you, you're going to love it and not regret any of it. Then we have Lemon Wedgie, and this is Lemon Peel and Blueberry Cheesecake. I mean, love. I Blueberry Cheesecake is a scent that I just... From everybody, smells so good. Blueberry Bakery, obsessed. Mixed with lemon, it just brightens it up. Like, blueberry and lemon together, flavor-wise, scent-wise, color-wise, bright blue and lemon, or bright blue and lemon, bright blue and yellow. Ugh, love. And this is, like, bright yellow wax. Really happy with that one. This one is Beach Vibes, totally not my vibe name-wise, but Lemon Custard, Red Apple, Vanilla Bean, and Ocean Breezes. Very interesting blend. This is kind of like honey mustard color. Yeah, it's a very interesting blend. I pick up on Ocean Breeze. Like a very, very floral, fresh, oceany scent. And then, yeah, maybe just... A hint, I dropped the clamshell, but I picked it up, um, of lemon custard, like lemony, oceany, interesting. Definitely not a favorite, but I'm excited to try it and melt it. And then last but not least, clam-wise, this is baked roses. Now this was just so interesting to me. Sweet berries, sour cream, spice cake, and rose cream. It is interesting. The first thing I pick up is spice cake. But like a spice cake with rose. Like I feel like I can't get the spice cake smell without smelling a hint of rose. But it's rose cream, so it's a very mild rose. Almost like say you have a whole big bin of icing and you added like a drop of rose essential oil. Very light. 
very light. Sour cream? Not necessarily. I was nervous. I didn't want it to come across like tart or sour. And sweet berries? Not really getting much of that. This one definitely needs to, to um, be popped in a warmer to experience it. I find from what people say her bakery tends to really come out. So I'm really excited for that. I do have two samples here. I got um, a sample for each order. The one I have is family and these are like little teeny clams. So I think I'll just pop one of these in my bathroom and family it smells like cinnamon bakery. Just like a rich like cinnamon sugar bakery scent. And then seasons sea sun greetings. So it's like sea dash sun like the sea and greetings. So is it like going to be like Christmas at the beach. Ew, whatever it is, I do not like it. Look how teeny. This is like such a little miniature clam. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't like it. Ew. It's funky. Whatever Sea Sun Greetings is, I'll have to look it up, but I'm not a fan. But anyway, that was my Super Tarts haul. I do have a few Super Tarts orders that are in pre-order process, so hopefully I get them soon, probably in the next couple weeks, but I'm excited to melt through my Super Tarts. I think I'm going to have a week of Super Tarts coming up because I want to experience all these scents and melt them and experience them in my apartment. And yeah. So let me know if you guys have tried Super Tarts. What are some of your must-haves? I'm super open to really trying anything from any category. I don't care. Give me a suggestion. I want to try it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. I love you all so much and remember that you matter. I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.